And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the heavyweights. Three rounds scheduled here at Eagle MC 44. Your three judges scoring this heavyweight matchup will be Hector Gomez, James Lazaro, and Vicente Rodriguez. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the blue corner. He stands six feet even, weighing in officially at 239 pounds. His record stands at 13 wins, four losses, one draw from Mount Orab, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sean the Bully Asher. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in officially at 264 pounds. His record includes seven wins against three losses. Originally from Cape Verde, now fighting out of Fall River, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jorgen, Thank you. the Mad Titan De Castro. And your referee in charge is Andrew Glenn. Andrew Glenn will be your referee. Wow, I don't know if I'd like that draw. There with the two big boys here in Jorgen DeCastro and Sean Asher. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Chael. I think this is a big proving opportunity for Sean Asher. Every time he's got that opportunity under the brightest lights, the biggest stage, he hasn't been able to come up with that victory. He's got to get it here tonight at Eagle FC. And this is what the kids in Hollywood like to call foreshadowing, guys. These are the heavyweights right. that we're going right. to see. We're going to hear these things. We're going to see how they move around this cage before, Henry, we get to tonight's main event. Yes, indeed. I mean, this cage is trembling already. <laughs> I mean, my TV is, uh, ooh, beautiful kick. Good setup, too. Move the hands just a little bit, switch the hips. Flying knee, did I just see that right? Did I just see a flying knee? I sure did. Now, Asher's got the underhook. He's controlling what we call the danger zone, getting That's his foot in the middle here. Really good pressure, though. Of course, we remember the, the massive knockout punch over Justin Taffa there at the UFC, really putting uh, Jorgen DeCastro on the map. Coming out of Regiment Training Center, Sean Asher trying to derail that hype train. DeCastro with a chip on his shoulder, looking to prove it at the highest level. Sean Asher, this is by far the biggest fight of his career, and he needs to come out with a victory here at Eagle FC to get that call back. The truth is, a lot of these guys are on one fight deals, yep. and they got to prove themselves, what makes it that much more interesting. That's right, high pressure stakes. I'll tell you, I, I got to speak to Asher's coach. This was yesterday down in the lobby of the hotel, and he told me their game plan. Oh, he was pretty he's sneaky something. He's got in. it. Whoa! He's got it. No! Well, he slipped that one in. Henry, you were watching closely to that. We're over here on a soliloquy, and he just yanked that guillotine. What a finish, my man. Oh, he's got his baby there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. It doesn't get better than that. I'm a little embarrassed. He came over here reaching. I thought he was trying to say hello to us. He reached for his beautiful daughter. I'm so glad I didn't jump up and shake his hand. I I'm, feel so, like I'm so glad I didn't out. get out of my seat. I feel like a bit of a, a, bit of a fool right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 4 seconds of the first round. For your winner by way of tap out, due to guillotine choke, Jorgen the Mad Titan. Castro! Come in, where you are?